Gerald Lucas here with another installment of Ask Gerald, where you get your real estate questions answered. Today's question comes from Chris, and Chris writes from Memphis, Tennessee. And Chris writes, I've been dealing with roof leak after roof leak. When it rains hard, I sometimes have to put a pot down on the floor to catch all the water. How much does it cost to replace a roof? Well, that's a good question, Chris. You know, roof is one of the most expensive things on a house that you'll ever have to replace. So I understand why you want to know how much it would cost. I'm actually in the process of having to replace a roof on a building that I bought eight years ago. So I know where you're coming from. The first thing to consider is that the materials and labor costs for replacing a roof are going to vary enormously from place to place in the U.S., right? Because it costs more money to move materials to certain parts of the country than it does to others. Um, at the same time, the supply and demand of labor is going to be different in different places. Um, there's different kinds of roofs. There are flat roofs and pitch roofs, and there are different kinds of roofing materials. Um, the higher and steeper your roof is, generally the more expensive it's going to be. So for all these reasons, I can't really give you one estimate that's going to work everywhere. Uh, but for your purposes, there's no reason to separate the materials cost from the labor cost. So just get estimates for the entire job. So that's material plus labor plus cleanup, right? So, you know, the only time you'd want to separate those things if you were going to install the roof yourself, which I wouldn't recommend doing unless you have um, experience. And then to simplify things, think about replacing your roof as a two-step process. The first step being deciding whether you're going to um, tear off the old roof and then replace it or whether you're going to just shingle over um, the old roof. And there's pros and cons to doing either. So if you remove the old roof and then put a new one on, it's going to cost you more money, but the new roof will last longer. If you shingle over the existing roof, it won't cost you as much money, but the roof isn't going to last as long. Well, this is a great question, Chris. And so what I'm going to do is, in our next installment of Ask Gerald, I'm going to take your question a little further and go into how you go about finding a good quality, reputable roofer, and then how to protect yourself with a good, solid, written contract. So thanks for your question, Chris. Good luck. For more real estate tips and information, visit performanceproperty.com. I'm Gerald Lucas, and I'll see you again soon.